Morning folks, I hope you are all well. Just wanted to send a quick message out to you on this Saturday morning. You, uh, some of you commented on my video yesterday where I was talking about thoughtful leadership and I got a couple of nice texts, actually one from Annalise. So if you're watching Annalise, nice to get your lovely message. I'm sorry I didn't get back to you straight away. <laughs> uh, I just had a busy day yesterday, but I wanted to just say that one of the areas that comes up a lot and used to come up when I used to run my Turning Point events was purpose and Dr. Rowe, I can't seem to find my purpose at the moment. I'm struggling, I'm, I'm meandering through life uh, and although things are going okay in my job, whatever, I, I just don't feel like I'm where I want to be or there's a sense of frustration. So I just wanted to tackle that one just very briefly. And actually, I'm going to bring it up as a subject in one of our podcasts. I think it's such a powerful, powerful topic. I'm just about to go on a bike ride. And in fact, uh, Harminder is going to be joining me today. So uh, we're off on an early morning bike ride. But if, if you're waking up each day and there's a sense of, uh, you know, it's a lovely day, but I'm still feeling a little bit like something's not quite right best thing to do for now is just create a purpose for today and each day if you do that you start to create some momentum so I thought I'd just challenge you bearing in mind it's a Saturday morning and it's about 8 30 I think my kids are oh, there's a little rabbit there actually a little baby rabbit running by two baby rabbits uh, my kids are just pottering around I have three purposes today so what I typically do when I wake up in the morning or the night before I go to bed is I give that day an intention. I think that's a really beautiful way to get the most out of a day, make it feel as though it hasn't finished at the end of the day. Is like, what did I do today? And if you don't achieve each of those purposes, that's fine. But at least if you set three and they have some meaning to you, then having achieved even one of them, that day feels more purposeful. Now that's not the whole picture, but it certainly works on a a macro level. So if you said to me, okay, Dr. Rowe, what's your purpose for today? It's Saturday morning. Surely he's just going to wake up and chill out. I have three things. First one is I want to work in the area of my health. So I have a purpose today of getting some exercise in. <laughs> and guess what? I'm going to do that now on a bike ride for maybe an hour or so. Second purpose for me is to um, evolve and work on a, an area of the business. So this is to do with the mind section of uh, the five ingredients that I often talk about if you've seen me talk about this and this will be coming out in a book for those of you that have been inquiring uh, and that is what's your recipe for success that you often talk about these five ingredients mind body self mind body self not spirit mind body self because that's incorporated in that relationships and then money if that makes any sense so for me um, I'm going to be working on the uh, health side of things, which is body. So that's the cycle ride today. So I said, right, what do I want to work on? So there's the cycle ride, then, excuse the scaffolding here, side of the building. I'm going to be going out and spending some time with my kids today, which is amazing. We're going to play out in the garden, likely to go for a walk, no doubt, at some point, which is a little bit of exercise as well. But also that's that relationship side. So it's building on the family relationship working on that my daughter's quite excited because she wants to treat us to some cooking i think this weekend as well which is brilliant and then um, i'm going to be working on a little bit of our product that i'm creating at the moment so i've got some work to do a member of my team is working through the weekend and she wants some output from me so that she can continue what she's doing so it won't be a lot probably about an hour and that will be just reviewing and uh, creating just a little bit for that digital product. So that would go down into the money section of the five ingredients. And under money, that would fall under the subsection of business. That's it, three ingredients worked on for today. Nothing massive, but each one of those, to me, when I finish today, will feel like a greater sense of purpose for the day's been achieved. I've also done something meaningful. I've had a chance to have special magic moments with my kids. I'm going to be doing some exercise as well. And some people might laugh and say, oh, yeah, but I mean, you're just doing stuff. But there's a difference between working through a checklist and there's a difference between that and working through and doing activities that have a sense of meaning to you 
and are to working towards a sense of purpose. Each one of those areas I've just talked about, to me, have a sense of purpose. And that sense of purpose means that when I go to bed at night, I mean, like, I feel like I'm moving forward. Now, you might ask the question, but what about the greater sense of purpose? What about this big sense of purpose that we all have or we should have? That's a conversation for another day. But my answer to that would be, if you constantly spend your time looking out there and going, where's my purpose, where's my purpose, where's my purpose? I can't seem to find my purpose. I'm working, I'm eating, I'm sleeping, I'm going to the loo, I'm showering, I'm waking up, I'm working, I'm sleeping, I'm eating, I'm showering, I'm going to the loo, I'm working, I'm eating. But surely out there's my sense of purpose. That process could take you through a week, two weeks, a month, six months, 12 months, doing that looking process when in fact right in front of you on a daily basis there's an opportunity to give meaning to each day and in doing that we build a foundation it's off that foundation that you get a greater sense of who you are and in that process then you start to realize actually this is now feeling more comfortable and I'm feeling more excited about what I'm doing and actually now I can see where my sense of purpose is so uh, Arminda just arrived So we're going to go on and do a bit of exercise now. I'll come back and tackle this. I'm going to suggest to him that we do this on a podcast. Anyway, have an amazing day. Choose three things today that are meaningful for you. That when you finish the day, make you feel like you've achieved something greater. All right, take care. Dr. Rose signing out.